Look, I know things are bad here in Washington, D.C. with this Congress, but it really is something when a former mobster is the one addressing them about living a faithful, godly life. Michael was addressing senators and Capitol Hill staffers at the Dirksen Senate office building, and I decided to come along to see what he does. We're influencing people here. You know, we're putting them in the right direction, I think. They're hearing a story of uh, really how God can change somebody's life and trying to encourage them to do the right thing. Michael spent 20 years in the Mafia, was the best earner since Al Capone, but left it all behind 20 years ago for his new life. He says it's been the most rewarding thing that he's ever done. Alex, if you'd have told me this 20 years ago, I said you're out of your mind. You know? <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you, it's uh, there's nothing more satisfying and encouraging than that. Uh, knowing you're having an impact, a positive impact on people. During the Kefauver and anti-crime commission hearings in the 50s and 60s, mobsters were given a little bit different reception in rooms like this. Usually, they came here under subpoena. I'm told I'm the only mob guy, former mob guy, that ever came into this building that wasn't an informant or testifying against somebody. So, uh, to me, that was a, a privilege, really. But To come uh, here I voluntarily. It, I got it right away, as soon as I walked in the room. You know, the old thoughts come back. Michael's testimony has moved thousands of people. One of them, who heard it for the first time today, is a former Indiana congressman who said he was amazed by Michael's story. It's important to hear from Michael because um, it, it's a testimony that, that uh, shows the power of the gospel, that, that there is really no place that we can be, no place that we can go where his, the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of the gospel cannot win us. So here we are, church and state coming together with all due respect. Should Michael Francis be talking to more members of Congress? Tweet me, let me know what you think.